Great. Thank you very much. Well, allow me to welcome everyone as well today. It's uh, very exciting for all of us. Um, there's a couple of housekeeping points. One is that um, we're going to be recording the, um, well, most of the presentations, and so just be aware that you might be recorded if you say something or whatever. Uh, we're also uh, very happy if you want to live tweet the, the proceedings and we're using this hashtag here uh, for that. Okay, the first question we have to address is why are we all here? And it's actually by a happy circumstance, about just under a year ago, I actually uh, got contacted by the headhunters. And that's effectively why we're here, because I got offered this uh, offer that I could not refuse. Um, actually, there were negotiations with these two individuals, um, with Peter and with Lawrence Young. Uh, Peter made it clear that, yes, there was a big deal, on, a good deal on the table. And I said, well, I didn't want to come here just as the kind of lone ranger, the lone microbiologist into the medical school. And I would need to set up my own uh, group of kind of like-minded colleagues, if you like, a, a, a kind of community of scholars. And he said, fine, that's okay. I think Lawrence was in the background persuading him that actually it was a good idea to put money in, into one area uh, and make maximum impact by concentrating in that way. Um, and so all the negotiations went very well. Um, lots of money on the table, lots of positions. Uh, and I said, you know, basically I need my own posse of microbiologists. And so the call, you know, I need the Magnificent Seven to come riding into Warwick Medical School with me. Um, and that has duly come to pass. We didn't actually get Yul Brynner, but we got another set of uh, Magnificent Seven instead, who are amongst us today um, as academics, some of them uh, early career academics in their first position, uh, some of them approaching their eighth decade on this planet, um, a great mixture of individuals. Uh, and in terms of our Athena Swan, you can see we've got more women than men as well, so we, we've done just the right thing in getting this mix. And uh, the original Magnificent Seven rode with a force of 700. Well, we've got an H index of more than 70. In fact, one of us has got an H index of more than 70, so all of us together must have an H index of more than 80 or 90 or 100 or whatever. Um, now, the move, um, I have to say, the move was actually fairly traumatic. Even though most things went smoothly, it is still very unsettling to do a move like this. And you can see pictures here. Of, of all the staff working very hard to actually make the move possible. As two individuals, really, I have to thank at this stage uh, for helping us during the move. And in particular, I have to thank Jazz as well for setting up the conference today. And Chris Stala has access to a nice present for Jazz, which we're just going to give now, uh, to say thank you for all the time you've put and effort you put into making our move so smooth and also for organizing the conference. The other person I have to thank uh, is Philippa Vance. Um, I've already, uh, I think I bought her a box of chocolates after we moved to say thank you for, is she here today? She's down on the list of delegates. But anyway, she, she is a, a formidable individual. Um, you can, this is what she puts up on her Twitter feed as her identity. And that just about sums up the, the fact that she's an assertive individual who gets her way and doesn't take prisoners lightly. And, and, and thanks to her help, it's been... Uh, relatively straightforward to get set up. Uh, she's done an awful lot of work behind the scenes to make things happen. So as part of the vision of coming to Warwick, I said that I didn't want to just be like a one idea show. We wanted to have a range of different activities within the sphere of molecular bacteriology, or molecular microbiology, talking to each other, working together. And the idea was to get these various different activities cross-fertilizing each other. And one of the other things that we were very grateful for Warwick for investing in was actually giving us some of the technology. So we actually invested of 35,000 pounds in servers. We've got 100,000 pounds on a MySeq. Uh, Mark Huffman was able to, to bring his robots over uh, from Cork. So we have the technology. But obviously more important than that, we now actually do have this huge co community of of scholars, like-minded people working together 
and, and we've actually fleshed out the division now with all these individuals, postdocs and PhD students. We have the, 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 the last uh, individuals to join in this, in this phase coming next week uh, in the form of Mira Unikrishnan coming as assistant professor and several PhD students. But over the summer we've actually fleshed out uh, the, the, the human capital of the division very nicely. And we're now six months old. We started on the 1st of April, uh, and we've nonetheless had 10 papers out already with the Warwick Medical School. So she's arrived just late to miss her. So I'll just go back and say thank you to Philippa again as she arrives. There we are. Um, we just thanked you for your efforts. Um, yeah, we've already had uh, 10 papers out, some of them in high-impact journals. Uh, one thing that I think is particularly impressive is that uh, Nick Waterfield has actually got a paper in PLOS Pathogens, just accepted in press, uh, and I just noticed there was only two authors on the paper, and that's such a rare thing nowadays to actually have papers with only two authors. You know, we're used to papers with 20 authors or 200 authors, so I am actually, I think that's uh, quite remarkable. We also have been busy. Uh, the last couple of weeks have actually been a very busy time in actually writing grant proposals. So we've submitted grant proposals worth about £12 million up till now, um, and we'll have to see how they go. I'm quietly confident that we'll get at least some of these grant proposals funded in the next few months. Last thing I'd say in, in, in the introduction is that we're also working towards establishing a centre in microbiology and infection. So though I said I wanted to set up a a community of like-minded people, of scholars in the medical school, it's clear that there were already in, on the campus lots of individuals, a huge hinterland, if you like, of, of talent and, and expertise and interest focused on uh, things that are relevant to microbiology infection. Um, and we're hoping to reach out to those individuals and draw them together and actually uh, build a cross-campus centre in microbiology infection uh, where the whole becomes greater than the sum of its parts. We've already started sketching out a teaching portfolio. We've already got some collaborations with uh, people in life sciences. Uh, but this process is, is perhaps the next challenge for the next six months of, of, of the division and, and to actually get that uh, set up and running.